Hi, this is David Schoenfeld. I'm going to try to explain the complexities of the landscape. Uh, I guess we're going to go back and forth between uh, World Machine and Unreal. So everyone's come here, seen this, and uh, overall resolution 505 by 505. It seems like a weird number because it is. So what we're looking at right now is one of these grids for e for every meter at this current resolution scale. So let's jump down to the smallest possible section size, and a section size is just for LO uh, landscape LODing based uh, on what your platform is. So this is just one section, and you see it's a seven by seven quad because seven quads one two three four five six seven have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight vertices in this quad, so it's eight by eight. But it's seven by seven because there's seven quads. So that's part of the confusion. So now, I mean, it, uh, and then you see that my overall resolution right now is eight by eight. So when I double this, you'd think it'd be 16 by 16, but it's not because they're sharing vertices. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sharing this one. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this vertice is going to be is on this quad and this quad. So that's why you get these start getting weird numbers. It's always minus for every section. It's always going to be minus one. So it just a starts adding up. Uh, and that's what kind of gets confusing. So while there's seven quads, each pixel, when we bring in an a height map, gets a height value from the height map. So the, the resolution of the base the smallest size would be 8x8. Eight eight. You know, we could go 64 by 64. So this would be a one small, this would be actually a very small texture, 64 by 64. So let's just go back to the the default setup. So this would be where you get the 505. And we can just quick look at some, do some quick math, and you'd see, I mean, you probably already understand, but let's just do it. So you have 8 quads times 64. Oh, clear, come on. First time using calculator. It's 512. So it's, as you obviously no, 512, but minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 512 minus 7, right? 505. There's your resolution, 505. So when you go into World Machine, uh, your resolution in your world has to be custom. So you come in here and you just type if, oh, well, you have to, 505. So you can have it just that that's all I'm, we're not setting up the whole thing. This is not all the correct settings. That's just the setting for to match. Oops. To match uh, our resolution here. So now if I export it from there, I at least have the. It would at least allow me to import. That's like step one, right? You need it to be like when you want to import your map. Uh, you want it to be able to actually come in. So the other thing <coughs> that you uh, you'll want to do is try to match so like right here this is like if you would import anything into unreal it would like it would come in really exaggeratedly high so uh, I, there's some settings it's like negative 256 by 256 um it's somewhere in, in like the docks i can't remember where but then if you realize this is like a half a kilometer right now then we want to basically be like we could put in we actually put 505 well, 505 meters by 505. So now this is actually, even though that rep, that looks terrible, this is would come in one to one um, into Unreal. Uh, but it's actually kind of hard to work with. In uh, it's almost too small for World Machine. It's not, but it, it's like if you want to look in this, like you can't get any closer uh, uh, than this. So. You can get further away, but you can't get, that's as close as it gets. So I actually like to work even, I mean, my smallest size to make it even bigger. So what I'll do is uh, we can go, let's just go to bigger quads. So all that has to do mean, all that means is that my, like, how much my terrain can LOD is based on 
like how many quads. Uh, so it's less draw calls, I think, if you have bigger quads, but you can't LOD like as well or something. Something like those, like, that's a close enough. So we see it's 1,017. Uh, uh, we'll go back here, and we'll set it up to be 1,017. It automatically changes it. So here we are. Let's just quick get some settings that are going to be, cool, like, at least so we can see something. Okay. This isn't a world machine tutorial, so let's just do the simplest possible thing. Throw erosion in. Ah. Stop it. Shit, there we go. Alright, we'll go just quick channel. And that's... Okay. So, the only other thing you're going to have to like make sure you do is you have to stay high precision so there's a few of these that work but uh, I just choose P, uh, the PNG and we'll set our folder let's just do it there fine we'll go test test 3 whatever okay so uh, now I just have to build the world fun can't you pause the recording during this time do I have to watch you build the whole world uh, fine I paused it you saved yourself 10 seconds that I just now wasted again. Okay, so export all. Height map was exported. Okay, okay. Back to Unreal. So we create our terrain. And now we can say, right, I'm just uh, right clicking, uh, import from file. So you can just paint on here right now, if you or you can just sculpt right now if you wanted. Um, and. Brush size is too small. Brush fall off, whatever. That's just the the fade on the brush and tool strength. I think the tool strength is what. Yeah, it's actually it is in fact growing, but I have no lighting in here, so it's very hard to see anything. Um, I should fix that. But anyway, let's just import from file, and I have it in documents. Test. Three and great. I'm gonna pause it and add lights so we can see what we're looking. All right, added a directional light. And we'll just add a skylight. Add a skylight. And just make the intensity to. I can't see anything on that skylight. What's going on? Generally, I don't light a scene from scratch like this, but. Anyway, we can see that here we are, and we have our world machine terrain. And all the proportions are going to be one to one. Um, so if we go back to world machine, and we go, uh, let's we zoom in, we'll see that that, like, the that should look pretty much one to one as far as uh, what we're seeing in Unreal. So that's just the, that would be like the short version. There's a lot of workflow things that you'll need to consider because if you, uh, well, we'll do that in another tutorial. So anyway, that would be the short version of explaining terrains and getting World Machine connected to, to your Unreal. Hope it helped.